Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and a lot of you have asked what's the update with Jenny Craig. So that is what today's video is all about. I've been on Jenny Craig now for about, I think it's been about six weeks and I've lost 10 pounds on it, but I have also lost 12 inches around my entire body. Now part of that is because of a trainer who has very kindly trained me. I believe that it used to be Van Life Fitness, that was the name of the trainer, but and her name is Marguerite. Hi Marguerite. <laughs> um, but I think she, uh, changed the name to mindfulness movement. Um, she's very spiritual and she's a great coach and I just love her. She's so generous and so kind. So um, I will try to find her new website or whatever her new name is and remember to connect that down below so you can check her out. But if you guys don't know the story about Jenny Craig, I put that Noom app review up <laughs> months ago and Jenny Craig reached out to me and said, we are so sorry that happened to you. Let's give you three free months of food and support, our gift to you. They did not ask for me to do videos. They did not ask for advertisement. They didn't ask for any of that. They don't even know that I'm doing these videos. But I, I said in the original video, I don't know how much it costs, but I realized they send me paperwork and I finally flipped it over and I saw that it's running about $200 a week. Now that is to have the food delivered to me. I guess if you have a Jenny Craig near you, you could probably go and pick up the food. Um, the delivery is, I think, $39.99 for it to come to me. And then the food included in that. So all in total with the delivery, it's coming out to about $200 to $205 a range. So keep that in mind. Um, is it worth it? I think the food is really, really delicious. I definitely want to tell you guys that. I was expecting it to taste like frozen diety food, <laughs> and it doesn't. And they really have carefully crafted every ingredient into this food. Like, I'm not, I don't have an affiliate link. I'm not pushing Jenny Craig. I'm just, this is my, one of the, the branches of my wellness that I want to share with you because I am a spiritual channel. It's all about health and wellness. Okay. And, and being good to yourself. And this is one thing that I am trying. So, you know, I, I even had my consultation, what was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. And I said to the woman, I was like, yeah, I'm only using like half a packet of the salad dressing because I don't like my salad greens to be drenched in dressing. And she said, okay, well, here's the thing with that. All of this is so carefully crafted that you're not getting enough fat in then if you don't eat the whole packet. <laughs> and I was like, oh. And so, you know, they're very, very precise. So she recommended that maybe if I only use a half a packet, maybe just like a tablespoon of almonds, maybe on the salad or something like that to make up for it, maybe, or half a tablespoon, I wrote it down. But anyway, <laughs> you know, to really balance out. So they really are precise about, you know, having this much protein, having this much fat, and to really get you set and retrained, okay? And they do send you a list so that you can, you, there's no thinking to it. I mean, um, they're giving me three months for free. Thank you, Jenny Craig. Thank you so much again for your generosity and not expecting anything in return. I think that was just, just a really beautiful thing on your part so thank you but um, if you guys are considering Jenny Craig some other things that I have experienced um, you know you do get to I kind of went from eating how shall I say this I was always I'm not vegetarian um, but I don't eat a, a whole lot of meat usually or if I do have a craving for meat or something along those lines um, I would make sure I went to this one specific shop where it's humane and I tried to even kind of keep that on, you know, kind of to a minimum. Um, I've tried going vegan before and I started having health problems. Maybe, you know, I've heard from other vegans, you just weren't doing it right. But um, I have I have like a endocrine, endocrine system kind of stuff going on. So I, long story short, I have to be careful with that. So I kind of went from, okay, trying to eat as organically as I can not eating a whole lot of meat to the Jenny Craig, which I don't think it's certified or organic or anything like that. But um, I figured for short term, that's fine. But what this has really done is it has retrained my body. First of all, it gets all the, it's so planned out, like all the nutrients and when you eat and, and all that stuff. And it can get a little, uh, it doesn't always fit into a lifestyle. <laughs> Have I done it perfectly? Heck no. There have been times I'm out running around trying to do something and I wasn't home for lunch. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. I went over to a, a place and I got a grilled chicken sandwich. And, you know, that's not a Jenny Craig sandwich, but I still lost weight on it. I've been very consistent in losing weight. So it, it's just, it really has been a great thing to retrain my body, to retrain my mind. 
uh, we had a blizzard and I don't know if you guys heard about it, but <laughs> it was like a major, major blizzard here in Colorado Springs. And my food delivery was supposed to come on that day. It didn't come and I anticipated that. So I had some food in my fridge and I realized I was making breakfast and then I sat there and looked at it. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. If this had been me, you know, six weeks ago, I would have made eggs with cheese on it. I would have put some veggies in there. I probably would have had two little mini tortillas with my breakfast. Like, oh, that's fine. It's just an extra hundred calories. I'm probably going to need it for the day. <laughs> well, that's why I was like chubby, right? Um, because I was adding in all of this extra fat and these extra carbs. And this really does help you understand, like this is what a portion is. This is how things need to be balanced out. No, you cannot just add that extra tortilla and it's no big deal in the morning, but yet you don't feel like you're being punished, right? So there is a little bit of the accountability with the support. I mean, yeah, you have somebody to talk to every week and they really force you, they ask you the same question every week. What is your goal for next week to make sure you stay on the plan? And it always kind of, huh? You know, it kind of makes me like, I don't know. Well, what, what's keeping you motivated? I don't know. <laughs> but because they ask that, it's, it forces you to stop and think, what are your goals? And for me, the goal was reclaiming my body. You know, um, a lot of my weight is due to eating habits that I picked up as a coping mechanism from when I was very, very young. And as a, as a grown woman, you know, it's my turn to reclaim myself and to not keep living in, in a way that I think I have to in order to feel protected. So it's, a, it's, it's time for me to come on out. The, whoever the real me, whoever I was supposed to be this whole time, <laughs> it's, it's time for her to come on out. So that's my biggest motivation. Of course, also I started as I got older. Um, I thought I had avoided what my whole family had been through with acid reflux. No, I was like, ha, I got to this age and I'll have acid reflux and then it hit karma. <laughs> right? So I go to the doctor, they're like, you need to lose weight. I, you know, I hear that every time I go to the doctor, whatever. So that has definitely, I absolutely have reduced my symptoms by about, I would say about 85% had a little bit of about last night, but it wasn't, it wasn't like what it was before. Not at all. So it's really helped me heal. And um, again, it's just been more about getting clear on, okay, this is the amount of food I should be taking in. And yes, stuff does count even down to, oh, I think I'm doing a good thing by not having the whole packet of dressing, but the way the whole diet is structured, I have to follow the structure if I'm going to reset my body, <laughs> right? So just be aware of that. Yes, um, I have had cravings. Yes, I've had moments where like uh, I have the Goddess Provisions subscription box and I do a review of that and they put this really wonderful Buddha chocolate in there, which by the way, didn't have a whole lot of calories, but it's not just about the calories. I ate it. That, that's the point of my story. I ate that thing. I ate it in a day, okay? <laughs> but it was actually a low calorie chocolate. It's vegan and paleo and, you know, had a lot of vitamin C in it because it had um, all these ingredients. It had rose petals in it. I know for some of you that might sound weird, but, you know, I went ahead and I ate it and yet I still lost weight. So it, again, it was because I've been conditioned now, okay, if this is going to be my dessert, it should only be two squares. For me, it was fine. And uh, I, I was okay with taking in less. As a matter of fact, back on that blizzard day, you know, I made myself the breakfast and I started to make lunch and I got about halfway through my lunch. And I'm like, oh God, I can't eat anymore. So there are things um, on, for, so that's how I learned <laughs> to eat. I'm reprogramming myself. But on the Jenny Craig diet, in the morning, I actually find it to be a lot of food, okay? Um, there's a lot of stuff to eat. <laughs> so you, they have some sort of breakfast item and then usually it's a shake or a yogurt and then um, a half a piece of fruit. I'm on the 1200 calorie diet, so a half piece of fruit. Lunch is some sort of salad and then their lunch entree or whatever. You have a snack in the morning, snack in the afternoon, a snack in the evening, which has been a godsend for me because evening time is when I'm like, ooh, I'm still a little hungry, ooh, a little, <laughs> right? And then of course there's dinner and then you have vegetables with that as well. So it, you know, there have been certain days, it could just be the type of food that I was eating that day that I was extra hungry. I'm also very, very active. People don't know that about me, but I, I'm incredibly active. Um, so it could have been that I just needed some more calories. The Jenny Craig system has been very flexible with me. So on those days where let's say I'm doing a three hour hike, and I'm climbing up the side of a mountain, um, <laughs> I can have 1500 calories for that day because I've got so much activity in. 
Um, but yeah, I feel amazing. I actually put on some jeans. I, you know, again, I know it, that can be kind of a gauge just to see where you're at, not just from this scale or measuring, but trying on your clothes. My clothes are starting to fit um, kind of loosely. So I'm excited to see where we are in another six weeks and to see how all of this goes. Now, one of the things I did want to share with you guys, it's very, very important, um, the packaging. So if you're going to do Jenny Craig and you're going to have it mailed to you, just know that they do send you a very, very big box. Okay, so it's a lot of cardboard. There's a cardboard tray in the top with like the dry goods and your snacks. And then there's a big styrofoam cooler. Now, some people repurpose that for storage. Again, I would put some sort of, you know, fire safety thing around it. Um, check with your local mommy association or whatever. I'm sure they came up with some ingenious thing to do that. Um, so that's one way of recycling it. Or if somebody goes fishing or camping, they're not bear proof, obviously, like here in Colorado, that's a consideration. <laughs> but you know, if you have some use for it, that's awesome. But if you're gonna commit for 12 weeks, you're getting one of those every single week. So I do not have styrofoam recycling as a service with my apartment complex, but I did find Pack Mail. It's spelled with a K, P-A-K Mail. And I don't know if they're nationwide. I believe they are. So please check around your local town to see if there's a Pack Mail or something like that. If there's some sort of mailing service where they will take the styrofoam and repurpose it as packaging, okay? My local Pack Mail does this extra really awesome thing. You can either drive them to the facility that's right across from the main entrance and drop it off for free. They're happy to take it. Or you can drive it to the main entrance and give a small donation. They actually employ people with disabilities and they pay them whatever you know tip you gave them. They have a suggested donation of $2, but I mean, certainly if you're supporting that, give a little more maybe, <laughs> right? But um, they partnered up with Blue Star Recyclers uh, here in Colorado. I wanted to make sure I had that right. Blue Star Recyclers. And so uh, that's the option that I chose. I took all the coolers uh, that I could fit into my car. Over there, you just go in and unload them really easy. You give them uh, a donation and they're supporting people uh, with disabilities and giving them a job. So... You know, if you have that option where you are, that kind of helps with the packaging. Of course, cardboard recycling, that's easy for me because we have a recycling program for that, but all things to consider. So if you have any questions for me about Jenny Craig and about my experience, feel free to leave them down below. I thank you so much for watching and I'm sending you so much love. Take care.